स्टेट एग्जीक्यूटिव सो स्टेट एग्जीक्यूटिव कंसिस्ट ऑफ गवर्नर काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स एंड चीफ मिनिस्टर्स गवर्नर इज द नॉमिनल हेड वेर इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर इज द रियल हेड एग्जीक्यूटिव पावर्स ऑफ गवर्नर He appoints the chief minister on his advice. Uh, he appoints the members of the council of minister on advice of the chief minister. He allocates portfolios among the ministers. He appoints the advocate general and chairman and members of the state public service commission. He has the power to appoint judges of the court other than high court. He is consulted when judges of high court are appointed. Financial powers. governor of the governor no money bill can be introduced in the state legislative assembly without the prior permission of the governor the annual and the supplementary budget are introduced in the assembly in the name of the governor the governor has the control over the state of contingency fund power of pardon the governor possesses the power to grant pardon reprieves respites or remission of punishment or the, or to suspend reexit or uh, commute the sentence of any person convicted by the court of any offence against any law relating to matter to which ad- executive powers mm. of the state extend discretionary powers a situation may arise when in the opinion of the governor there is the breakdown of the constitutional machinery in the state in such a case government may report the situation to the president for imposition of president rule in the state as the governor exercises this power on own this is called the discretionary power of the governor a situation may also arise when the governor may reserve a bill for the consideration of the president the chief minister is the head of the government in the state constitutional position is similar to the prime minister he has no fixed term of office because he remains in office as long as he commands the support of the majority members of the legislative assembly and when he loses the support of the legislature he has to resign resignation of the chief minister means resignation of the whole council of ministers in the state chief minister should be member of the state legislature if he is not a member of the state legislature at the time of he is taking over the charge then he must be so within a period of 6 months now functions of the chief minister chief minister is the real head of the state government ministers are appointed and allocated portfolios by the governor or on the advice of the chief minister chief minister presides over the cabinet meeting he coordinates the functioning of the different ministers he guides the functioning of the cabinet the chief minister supervises the activities of the different ministry ministers and advises them accordingly he also coordinates the activities of different ministries he also plays an important role in making higher appointments of the state government the governor appoints different higher officials of the state government on the advice of the chief minister and his council of minister chief minister plays a key role in forming the framing the laws and policies of the state government bills are introduced by the ministers in the state legislature with his approval he is the chief spokesman of the policies of his government both inside and outside the state legislature the constitution provides that the chief minister shall communicate to the governor all the decisions of the council of minister relating to the administration and the affairs of the state and proposals for legislation as the governor may call for the chief minister is the sole link of communication between the cabinet and the governor the governor has the right to be informed by the chief minister about the decisions taken by the council of minister the chief minister also is a link between the state and the union government as he is the ex officio member of the national development council he interacts with the union government regularly council of minister maximum term is 5 years or less and the term depends on the support of the majority members of the legislative assembly if they loses majority support they has to resign formation the governor appoints the on the advice of the chief minister the ministers included in the council of minister must belong to either house of the state legislature total number of ministers including the chief ministers shall not exceed 15% of total number of the member of the legislative assembly of that particular state cabinet 
most powerful authority in the state administrators are taken by the cabinet minister of the state are not invited for meetings of cabinet ministers are allotted the responsibility of various department of state administration role of council of minister it formulates the policies for state administration and implements them it also implements the directives given by the central government it has to work in conformity with the national policies of the central government it prepares proposals for legislation it authorizes their introduction in the legislature by the ministers concerned it has also to take measures so that the legislations are passed in the legislature it is responsible for maintaining law and order in the state it makes policies regarding recruitment appointment transfer promotion of etc of the public services in the state it even advises the governor for the appointment of the important functionaries like the chairman and the members of the public service commission advocate general etc it prepares annual budget of the state government the ministers for finance presents the budget in the legislative assembly it advises the governor regarding the date and time of the summoning and proclaiming the session of the legislature it also advises the governor to dissolve the legislative assembly state executive in goa the first elections were held in december 1963 goa acquired statehood on 30th may 1987 The strength of the state assembly is 40 and there are 12 ministers in the council.